Oh, say can you see all the scrap metal behind me? <laughs> What's going on, guys? What's going on? Oh, Quentin with me for it out the cleaning service. Did you guys enjoy your fourth? Did you guys enjoy your fourth? I enjoyed my fourth, man. I tell you, man, I got on the grill. You know, I told you guys I had the grill for the fourth of July. And out there, man, made me some chicken breast, some turkey legs, got on the grill. I tell you this, man, them, them turkey legs was the best, man. Them turkey legs was the best, man. Kind of barbecued me some turkey legs and put them in some barbecue sauce and kind of shuck them up, man. I tell you, man, I got to them. Hey, my brother came in and hung out with my wife was there. And that, I tell you, the turkey leg was good. I didn't lie, I burnt them a little bit. But I tell you, that little crispy on the skin was awesome. It was awesome, guys. But I enjoyed my 4th of July. And I hope you guys did as well. I hope you enjoyed your 4th of July. But guess what? It's over with now. It's over with. Now, guess what? It's back to get out here and make it happen and run the business and making it happen, man. We got this guy on the excavator, man. He's tearing it up down there. You guys see him? He down there tearing it up. And you know what? When I look down there, that doesn't look like the Volvo, guys. It look like that's the old cat excavator. And it's bigger than the Volvo. It kind of surprised me. It kind of surprised me, but he's getting his all worked out down there, getting his yard cleaned up. So we can get this scrap metal dropped off. I think that's the truck getting ready to come in so he can get the bed of the truck loaded up, man. So, woo, man. <laughs> I tell you, man, today has been a good day. I weighed in about um close to 1,400 pounds. Not right at 1,400, but close to 1,400 pounds. Kind of a small day for a Wednesday, but I can't complain. It's after the 4th of July. You know, people don't really like to get up out of the bed and go to work the day after the 4th of July, let alone put scrap metal on the side of the road. So I'm happy for what I am. And it's time for me to start running my mouth and it's time to take a look at what I have. Let's go over there and take a look at what I have on the back of the trailer. Here we go, let's go. Guys, here we go, here we go. Man, this is everything I have today. Yes, I tell you. I tell you, not a bad day, not a bad day for the day after the force. I can tell you this, man. Um, I had, I know a couple of family members that were doing some drinking. Now, I don't really drink too much. They were doing some drinking and some barbecuing and having a good time. I can imagine them guys that get up and go to work today. So I can imagine if they were doing that, man, the majority of the U.S. were doing that. They were joining their 4th of July and they had no intention of going to work the next day. So they probably called out. I already had a plan called out. So I can imagine that in the world, in, in, in the world that I work in, that a lot of people, is, they, they're just not up this morning. Worrying about putting that stove, that washer, that dryer, or that refrigerator on the side of the road. They are definitely more concerned with getting themselves sober, getting themselves ready for work on Thursday. So whatever I was able to get today, I'm so humble and so blessed to have on the back of this trailer. So let's walk around and take a look at it, man. We got this metal chair here. It's like a metal fire pit that might have rusted out. Not in bad shape, but it rusted out no good. What else we have over here? We got a vacuum cleaner, a metal door. We got this metal grill. Like a little bit of stainless on here. I'm going to kind of see what parts of stainless kind of break them off uh, i got some cord now i had someone that got on me about cutting these cords off here they say hey you get extra money by cutting these cords you need to cut the cords off of there sir <laughs> so i'm gonna cut the cords guys look here i cut it i do everything after the video so hey once i'm done i'm able to use both hands because i gotta film with this phone here man i can tell you trying to cut the cord one hand uh, it doesn't work out good for me then i got some metal down at the bottom uh what else i got this iron board right here let's keep going around here man i got this piece of aluminum right here yes yes Piece of aluminum, that's going with the aluminum rims. I'm gonna throw that over there. That uh, breakage aluminum. Got a washing machine right here. Got a grill. I think another grill over here. Yep, another grill on the back end over here. What else we have down here? Got a ride along more guys. Snapper. <laughs> man, I tell you this, man. Do you guys remember the day riding in your father's lap <laughs> on the ride along more? Bad, I can tell you that, man. That is crazy. Yeah, it's got the old school snapper here. Eight horsepower. I haven't seen an eight horsepower mower riding more in some years i think the average more started off at what 15 horses now yeah man so you know it's eight man but these was the cadillac alarm wars but yes yeah, got a snap alarm more here got a fan back down the back side i think i got a christmas tree back down there y'all gotta see that christmas tree man yeah they take christmas tree out here uh let's go over here i got a refrigerator right here now it look taped up like food is in it right but what it is is the doors let's kind of ah uh, man let me see let me see can i get this other keep the tape off of there show you guys what it is is the doors are just broke on it so they had to take the doors together so the doors are broke on it so there's no food in it it's just the doors are broke on it and then they're like a little muffler that might have came off a little 
a, a, a motorcycle or something like that. I'm not for sure, man. But yeah, this is pretty much everything I have on the trailer. So it's time to get this off loaded. And that guy is really getting his yard cleaned up. Let's get this off loaded so we can keep it moving. guys i got this trailer offloaded everything is off of the trailer here man it's empty uh i got about 20 minutes so i'm not gonna have much time to stay on here and chat with you guys gotta get these cores cut off the refrigerator i got some cores on some other stuff i need to get cut off of here and so, some stuff i need to remove look that's the cores right here i gotta get my cutters in the back and get these cords cut off uh this is what we got going on at my scrap yard this is it this is what we do we are hey we have a lot of scrap metal out here a lot of scrap metal a lot you guys can see, you guys can see this guy on the excavator is making it happen, man. These guys are hard working guys. I love coming out here. I enjoy time with you guys and watching these guys work hard, man. I tell you, the experience that you get out here at SNA, I love it. I truly love it. The staff is wonderful. I can't express that enough. I can't express it enough, man. I enjoy seeing these guys and they'll help you with anything. They will help you with anything. Look at this. Look at this. We have scrap metal. We have a lot of it out here. This is what we do at this today. This is it for me. This is it for me. I hope you guys enjoy your day today. Be blessed today. Be safe today. Have a great day. I'll catch you guys tomorrow.